Do you suck at temptation? If you do, I want to teach you a simple, like a really simple technique, a technique that a five-year-old could apply to help you be more successful in the tempting moments in your life. So if you do suck, make sure you watch this video. Okay, so I want you to imagine a situation. You're sitting around a table with four of your really good friends and you're talking about a subject that's really important to all of you and you're kind of going deep into the conversation. So you're, you're really, really going deep and you feel really present and connected with these people. Now what I want you to imagine is somebody walks by and puts a bowl of your favorite temptation in front of you. It might be M&Ms, it might be Snickers bars, it might be some other treat, but they put it right in front of you in this moment. What do you think happens when that happens? Well, it's a really interesting thing to think about, isn't it? Because ultimately what happens is suddenly the conversation becomes less effective and less connected. And that's because suddenly not only are you being consumed by the conversation, you're being consumed by the temptation that you have in front of you. And when we think about temptation, this is often the case, that we're put in a situation in our life where we have to resist temptation. And if we go back to the conversation example, again, you're often not as focused on the thing that's most important to you in this moment. And life gives us lots of moments like this. Lots of moments where the, the, the bowl of M&Ms is in front of us, and a lot of our mind energy goes into resisting that temptation. And unfortunately for a lot of people, they don't actually resist the temptation, they take on the temptation. So even if they're not meant to be eating junk food, they eat the junk food. So if we can understand at times in our lives we have temptation, one thing we're going to really think about is what strategies can we help to do to remove the temptation from our life. And today I just want to talk about one really simple technique, and it's remove the temptation or remove yourself. So let's just go back to that situation. You're sitting in the, in the table with your friends. You have a really good conversation with your friends. Someone puts that bowl of M&Ms in front of you. The longer that sits beside you, the more it will consume you. And eventually you may eat the M&Ms. What if, for example, you saw the M&Ms come in front of you you realised, this is temptation. I don't want to fight this right now. You get up, you quickly put them to the side or you put them in the next room and then you come back to the table. What have you done? You've removed the battle of temptation in this moment. And when we think about tempting moments, this is such a simple and effective strategy. And the strategy simple says, simply says, am I being overwhelmed or being consumed by the temptation in front of me? Can I remove the temptation or can I remove myself? So for example, let's say you're going out for dinner and you know, you've got a dessert in front of you that you don't want to eat or the leftover of the meal that you know you don't want to eat. Put your hand up, get the waiter, come pick it up. Let's remove that situation. Or you might go around to a friend's house and you're having a social occasion and they put out a big feast of food beside you and you're kind of just socially standing beside the table. Well, go into the other room and have the conversation with the people you're with in the other room so you don't have the food beside you. If we can remove the battle of temptation, it's much easier to stay in a better place. So today's, today's advice is really simple. First of all, catch the moments when you see temptation is consuming your mind or taking you away from what's really important to you in that moment. And then ask yourself, can I remove this temptation? Or can I remove myself from this temptation? It might be putting your phone beside your bed at night. That's a temptation. Leaving the other room is not a temptation. So a good question to think about is, for you in your life, when are the moments where you face temptation? Can you remove them? Can you remove yourself? And how do you do it when you hit those moments? I guarantee if you apply this simple strategy that a five-year-old could use, you'll get much better at not having temptation, which means you're a much better version of yourself. If you enjoy my pieces and you want to bring exercise into your life, you need to check out my book, I Will Make You Passionate About Exercise. This book is designed to be a step-by-step -step journey that teaches you the right lessons and experiences to guide bringing exercise into your life, not just for a moment, but where you get to the place where you have a long-term love of exercise. So you get fitter, you get healthier, you have great stress releases, and you feel amazing about yourself. This book has been hugely successful getting the top 10 in the world for health and fitness books. So if it's time for you to bring health and fitness into your life, go to Passion About Exercise, click on the link, go through the process, and you can be starting your journey of finding your love for exercise really soon.